Last week, temperatures in Antarctica soared to 40 degrees Celsius above normal and temperatures in the Arctic went up 30 degrees Celsius above normal. The temperature rose at unprecedented scales at both poles simultaneously. This is happening now in March when Antarctica is actually heading towards winter and the Arctic is slowly coming out of summer and is in spring right now. These temperature records from last week have alarmed the world's scientists and the changes themselves are indicative yet again of how even our most extreme climate models underestimate the true extent of global heating and its impacts. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. The polar ice caps act like umbrellas for the Earth. Because ice is white in color, it reflects sunlight and heat back to space keeping the earth relatively cool. The more ice there is and the more clouds there are, which are also white in color, the cooler our planet will be. But as the atmosphere and the oceans start to warm, ice melts. Melting ice exposes either darker land underneath, as in the case of Antarctica, or darker ocean underneath. Both of these accelerate global warming because they are dark and they absorb more heat and sunlight. Thus, they also speed up the melting happening around them. Even though the whole world is warming as a whole because of human emissions in the last century, it is not doing so uniformly. The poles are warming faster than the rest of the planet. The Arctic Ocean is warming about two to three times faster than the rest of the planet and Antarctica is actually warming five times faster. And this is extremely dangerous for the planet because polar ice maintains the global weather systems and protects us from excessive heat from the sun. Antarctica broke several records last week, especially on the 17th and 18th of March 2022. Concordia, which is located over 3,200 meters above sea level, recorded minus 12.2 degrees Celsius instead of its typical minus 50 something Celsius this time of the year. It was a terrifying 40 degrees Celsius above average. In East Antarctica, temperatures were minus 10 degrees when they should have been minus 45 degrees. In other places also, there were raised temperatures, especially through the whole of the Antarctic continent, which is slightly unusual. Antarctica tends to warm rather quickly at very specific locations. Vostok is a Russian research base and has historically recorded the coldest temperatures on the planet. Last week, it was at minus 17 degrees Celsius, nearly 15 degrees higher than usual. These are historic records with warmest temperatures in over 65 years of record keeping. The Arctic hasn't been any less dramatic. Scientists have been extremely surprised and alarmed once again to know that the Arctic is very close to melting point at this time of the year. Temperatures here are 30 degrees Celsius higher than they should be during spring. All of this was likely triggered by the unprecedented heat wave in the Pacific Northwest last year, which raised temperatures in the summer in the Northern Hemisphere, and which would have virtually been impossible without emissions. Additionally, we also just learned last week that the Arctic sea ice is melting even faster than scientists previously thought. In just the last three years, between 2018 and 2021, the ice thickness has reduced by five feet. In 2021, it was one and a half feet thinner than it was in 2019. The whole of Arctic Ocean lost one third of its entire ice volume in the past 18 years. Scientists now think that we have been overestimating the thickness of ice by nearly 20%. Climatologists and weather experts are now saying that with this bizarre, highly alarming, unprecedented observation of both poles melting simultaneously, we're entering a new phase of unpredictable climate change all around us every year. The poles are at the opposite ends of the planet and their seasons are, well, polar opposites. When ice melts in the Arctic, it accumulates and grows in the Antarctic and vice versa. 
Currently, the weather being seen in Antarctica is closer to what it should be in January than in March. Right now, there should be much more ice and the temperatures should have been steadily getting much, much lower. In February of this year, Antarctica also set the record for its lowest ever ice, going back all the way to 1979. What possibly happened was a phenomenon called an atmospheric river, a stream of warm air that brought in heat and moisture from the Pacific to the South Pole. Each year, with more and more extreme and unpredictable climate disasters on a planetary level, we realize that all of our models are actually much more conservative than reality, even when we think that they are an extreme case scenario. The distinct layer of warm air above the ground and the rapid warming of the oceans are affecting regular weather processes and large-scale climate processes on a daily basis. As we see our everyday weather change year by year, we're also going to see more and more unimaginably extreme climate scenarios on the regular.